Outside, the snow is falling down, and every child is having so much fun. The snowman is twice the size as me, with a smile as quirky as mine. We're holding hands to keep each other. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. We are getting into it now. I can't believe it. We're actually doing Christmassy videos. Today, I thought I would go through some of my favourite Etsy finds. I love Etsy when it's used correctly. I think there's a lot of unfortunate sellers on Etsy now that have kind of like taken over and are just selling mass-produced stuff. Whereas I use Etsy for more like small businesses, easily finding small businesses because Google is daunting as hell when trying to support small businesses. So it, I, I try and make sure that they're all small businesses or like semi-small. If you get my drift, that's what this video is. So if you find one and you like Sarah, that's literally just one of those big companies masquerading as an Etsy seller. Please tell me, I'll take it off or I'll put a warning next to the link. But I'm gonna go through some of the stuff that I found on Etsy. I have two different types of categories. I've done just Christmas, so kind of like decor and I don't know, Christmassy stuff. And then I have gift ideas, okay? This is very, very broad. There's loads of stuff in here, but we're just gonna go through it. Like always, I'll leave the links below. If you guys have found anything on Etsy that you thought was a really good gift or that you really liked for the home, please leave it below for everybody else. Let's make this as like resourceful as possible. We're gonna try and get through this as quick as I can because I end up talking for ages. So let's go, let's get into the Etsy stuff. Right, let's go through the home decor stuff first. I do want to say, this is similar to the Halloween thing that I did, that some of these might not be in stock currently when I'm like filming this video, but I thought I'd still put them on there because I like them. I found them when they were in stock and we still have like a, like a month-ish, like three weeks-ish till Christmas, so things might come back in stock. That like I just thought I'd put them out there anyway. Right, first up, I'm going just in the order that I've saved these into my collection, so they might go from like good to worst or worst to best or just anywhere in between. So I'm sorry if it's a weird order. First up, we have these hanging Christmas decorations. I think these are a nice little touch for like minimalistic kind of households. We are somewhere in the middle. We have like maximalist and also minimalist, if that makes sense. I don't know how to describe our house, but these would fit in our house. We have wreaths like this where they're just like a wire and then a little thing. I like how they are gold. I like how they have just like little touches of Christmas on them. And I like the different shapes as well. I think you can get, yeah, you get three for $12.90. That's full price. I'm filming this on Cyber Monday, so quite a lot of these do have like money off. So yeah. I think £12.90 for these is not a bad price. I don't think they're that big, so I think you put them up as like a trio. But I thought they were nice and simplistic and cute. Next up, we have this pressed foliage Christmas wreath frame. Again, very, very nice and minimalist, if you know the minimalist people in your life. I really loved the wreath in this frame. I thought it was beautiful. It didn't look fake. I don't, I don't think. I don't think it looks fake. I don't think it looks tacky. I think it's really, really pretty and it has like that gorgeous minimalist frame. And it is a bit more expensive. It's on sale for £25.60 currently. It is £32 normally. But if you're looking for like a gift or even like for decor in your home that's just a little bit more expensive, I really like it. I think it is really, really pretty. Okay, next two are stockings. I have always struggled finding stockings that I like and I found two on Etsy that I like for very reasonable price. So the first one is a very much like traditional stocking. It's red velvet with the white trim. I think these are beautiful. You can get these without the embroidery as well because I think I wouldn't like the embroidery as much, but it is actually, it has a nice font in the embroidery as well. I'm just a sucker. I love the velvet, like classic looking stockings. And I think 12 pound, well, that's the sale price, sorry. £14, 
is a really good price. It's a really good price. And then the other stocking that I found is the knitted type of stocking. I really like the size of these. Again, I think you can get this, can you? Yeah, you can get this blank and it's cheaper. But again, even if you do want the embroidery, I think it's really pretty. My favourite ones are the red and the cream and the white. I think there's a green one as well. Yeah, I like the mixture. I'd probably go for like a red and then maybe the white with for me and Jack. I just think that they look really classy, really nice, and again, not that expensive. First candle set. Very, very cute. I think there's like, this is such a range and I freaking love those gingerbread men. You can get four different types of set. You can get, hang on, let me get into the description because it doesn't say it. So you can get a merry and bright set for 18 pound, which is a gingerbread person, a reindeer, a snowflake, and a choice of pillar. That's really, I think that's really good for these being like homemade and they look freaking adorable. You can get a set called Can't Catch Me, which is 14 pound, which is two gingerbread people and a choice of one pillar. Snow Good, which is 15 pound, which is four snowflakes and a choice of one pillar. That's okay, I'm sorry if he's being noisy. And then Oh Dear, which is 16 pound, which is two reindeers and a choice of one pillar. <laughs> The pillars have Merry Christmas written on them, December 25th and Tis the Season. I think these are absolutely adorable. I freaking love those gingerbread men. I'm just a sucker for like white beigey candles that look like things for the season. Like I love the pumpkin ones and then those gingerbread men are just freaking adorable. So I think they're reasonably priced as well. Next one is a garland. This is one of the cheaper ones, I wouldn't particularly go for this one, but I do think it's very cute. But as well, I went onto this shop, like the shop front, and they have loads of garland. There are some very, very nice ones. I thought I'd put this one in because this is the first one that I found. And it's a bit more reasonable because some of them, some of the other garlands are quite expensive. Reasonably so. They are beautiful. But I just, I feel bad putting like really expensive stuff in, like my videos. So definitely have a look at their store as well to look at other stuff. But I thought this garland was really sweet, really cute. I like the like frosted greenery in there and it's £28. Another very simplistic wreath. I love the colour of this one. I love the wood like colour of it going round. I love the font in the middle. I love like the eucalyptus-y looking leaves. I think it's eucalyptus. I don't know though because that doesn't feel very festive but it is very very pretty. I just I love like simplistic wreaths. If you've watched the decorate with me you'll know we have two but I just think that one's so pretty and it's more scandy as well so if you have someone with like a scandy kind of decor it definitely would fit. And that is £15.90. We have more very, very cute cream candles. These mittens, all of these are very, very cute. So we've got the mittens, then there's Christmas trees, a little village set, and then that, it's a pillar candle, but it's got like reindeer and trees on the bottom. Oh, it's so freaking cute. And you can buy different sets. So you can get the houses of a set for a set of three for £29. Gloves set of two for £10, two Christmas trees for £14, decorated candle, which I assume is the pillar one, for £6.50, or all, all of the above for £55. And for a set like that, it's not that bad, you know? And it looks very, very cute. I don't think they're scented, which is fine. I, I don't think I'd ever, ever use them because they are so pretty, but I love them ones. Those gloves are freaking adorable. Next up, we have a personalised Christmas table napkin. And I know that's very specific. I wouldn't need to buy these because we don't have a table. We don't have a dining table. But I know that a lot of people pride themselves on like that Christmas table layout if they are hosting. And I really, really like these napkins. I like how they're red. I mean, as you can probably tell, red is the decor that I choose for Christmas. But I think you could probably pick up on the fact that I'm not big on like personalised stuff. I'm not a big fan of like embroidery, but on this one, I think it looks very classy. I love the Merry, the font that the Merry Christmas is in, with the little Christmas tree. That is very, very sweet. But then I love the big kind of handwriting font and it like with the family name and stuff. I just think that's absolutely adorable. I love the colour. I imagine the material is lovely, but I mean, it's a napkin, so it doesn't matter too much. But the... For one, it is £4, which is expensive. 
But you know what? I'm not going to judge people for spending what they want to spend on napkins. I just looked at them and thought, very, very cute. I think I've just seen in a review that you can get it in a different, like the embroidery in a different colour as well. But I think that gold is beautiful. Next up, we have some personalised Christmas baubles. I am very, very, very picky with stuff like this. Like I've just said, with personalised stuff, I'm normally not a fan. And we actually have some uh, personalised baubles, well, letters. But, like I said, I'm picky. Me and Jack don't like the ones that we have because they were bought for us. I very, very rarely find ones that I like. And I thought these ones were really sweet. I like the red back, the red letter in the background and I like the name in the gold font again. The ribbon is very, very cute. I just thought they were really sweet and simplistic. You can get them in different colours, but I definitely would be getting the red. I think that's very, very festive and very cute. You can also change the back, like the colour of the font in the background and then the colour of the front. You can personalise it very, very well. But I would get the red. It is... £4.75 for one, which isn't that bad for it being personalised, and they do look very nice quality. Okay, we have another wreath, um, uh, another minimalist wreath, but they're so cute! And it's the last one, I promise. This one is probably my favourite. I really, really like it. I like the gold, I like how thin the wreath is. There are three different options. I personally like the eucalyptus or the spruce one. They're different prices. So the berry hoop is £24, the eucalyptus hoop is £22.40, and the spruce hoop is £24. I just think they're beautiful. I love how they are kind of like a bit over halfway. So I suppose you could choose from the ones that I said about how big you want it, because that first one was just like a tiny bit, and then this one is like more than halfway and I think these are a bit bigger as well. I don't think that's a bad price for a very nice kind of wreath. I just think it's really, really pretty. Right, the next one, I did include a similar thing to this in the Halloween video that I did and it's a embroidery set. I thought it's just nice putting something in there for like an activity and obviously this is Christmas so we're gonna include a Christmas one. So, I, really like this one. I did come across a load of different embroidery kits for Christmas. This one was my favourite one. Just again, it's really nice and simple. It's cute with the ho ho ho. I think they feature another one in the pictures, but I think that's in a different set. And the little Christmas tree one that's in the pictures is very, very cute as well. I just think it's a nice thing to include like an activity. And it's 20, well, that's the sale price. It's 25 pound full price. But I think that includes like a full starter kit. So it's not that bad. Okay, next up we have more candles. These Christmas candles are very, very cute. I like how they have the different shades available. Together would be very, very cute. I'd obviously get the cream one or the green one. You know what? They're all just very nice colours. I like them. They come in different sizes as well, which is lovely because I like to layer them. Like I've done it. Oh, I don't even know where all my candles are. I don't know, you can't see, but never mind, you can layer them. I, if you go on this, on the last picture, they have like a ton of different candles that they do as well, so it might be worth checking out their page. But they are £10, right, a lot of them are sold out, but for one medium, it's £10. I don't think that's too bad if you're not going to use them. They're going to be like decoration every year. If you're going to use them, it might be a little bit expensive. But just don't use them, they're very, very cute. Next up we have more candles. They are from, let me just check this before I say this. Yeah, they are from the same place, but they're two different types. So the first one with these adorable little Christmas trees and little stars, so pretty. I think pillar candles, I see them very much as a Christmas thing. I don't have any holders for pillar candles, but these are beautiful. They're absolutely stunning. Hand painted, yeah, hand painted. They're just, beautiful I absolutely love them these ones are 1095 then the next ones I want to show you how cute are they look at that little snow painted scene at the bottom of the candle with the stars and the moons oh they're just so beautiful they are so beautiful these ones are sold out currently so I can't tell you the price but I imagine they're similar price or maybe more than the other ones because the I imagine these ones take more time but ah oh, they are so stunning right last one in the just Christmas general 
section before we move on to like gift ideas and it is this reusable lace trimmed fabric gift wrap so i love these i think they are so pretty the colors as well are just absolutely beautiful uh it, it depends who you're buying for but i think these are a really good idea to buy for the people in your home because i see if you are buying it and giving it to people who don't live with you you're not getting it back so it's part of the gift but I would use this for Jack, and then obviously we keep the wrapping. I just, I think it's beautiful. It drives me insane about how much wrapping paper is in the world that isn't recyclable. I think it's disgusting. Me and, me and Jack tend to normally use craft paper that is recyclable, but I think this is an absolutely beautiful alternative. And it just looks so sweet, especially when the, like the way that they've done it, where they've put little bits of berry and like wreath and Gar not garland like um like spruce in there it's so pretty how much was it for one for one fabric wrap it's 11 pound 20 but then you can get a set of three which is 30 set of six six which is 52 pound 80 and set of 10 which is 80 pound but you know what if you're using this year and year and year out i think it's worth that and it it's it's just so beautiful Right, we are coming on to gift ideas. I am going right to the bottom. I think it said I had six, no, that's wrong, that's the wrong one. We had 15 ideas. I'm gonna explain the type of people that I like, think these would be good for as well. Cause I think the thing with doing gift guides, cause I don't do gift guides, is because like I think gifts should be like really personal. So if you don't think that the person likes this would like it it's not for them which sounds really obvious but some people don't think like that and also i think it can be hard if you don't know a person that well to know what to get them so i'm gonna i'm gonna try and explain the type of people that i would give these gifts to right first up we have these insect bookmarks obviously this is for anybody that reads books <laughs> oh it make sure as well if you are wanting to buy these for someone you know reads make sure they're reading physical books because a lot of people only read on kindle now and these will not work for a kindle they need to be reading books this completely depends on the type of person you would be buying for as to whether they like insects and bees and moths and stuff like i wouldn't buy these for jack even though he reads but i'd buy these for my sibling because they like it they don't particularly like insects, but it would fit the vibe. I hope people know what I mean by that. But yeah, I thought these were really sweet. I love a special bookmark. I used to just use anything I could find. I'd find free bookmarks and use them. And then my mom or find like bought me some special bookmarks and I love them. I think they're really, really meaningful. And these are just a little bit like more fancy that they clip in. I quite like that they just clip in at the top of the book because some of the fancy bookmarks don't actually fit well into a book. So I like how these just clip over the top. I think people have said as well, you, like in the description, it says you can use them for different things. Yeah, you can use them in files and stuff to like hold them together. But I just think that they're really sweet and there it is £7.22. I don't know if, I think that must be for the four, which is reason, really reasonable. I think they're really sweet. Right, next one. I actually have two different types of them and it's a propagation kit. So the first one is actually a, like a kit and it comes with different things. You can, in this set, buy just single like propagation tubes but you can buy a full-on kit which comes with like little leaflets on how to propagate and i just think they look really really sweet i we always are trying to propagate our plants and we end up just putting them in some of our glasses so i think that this is really really cute anyone who has plants especially plant parents you know those people who always talk about their plants and then ask you if they have if you have plants get them this even if they have propagation systems i think this is a really good idea especially this second one because it's not so much of a kit it's just a station and i think that this is adorable even if i had my own propagation station or if i had other ones of these you can always have more because then you can always just propagate more of your plants. And this one, you can select a style 
So the grow rack is £20.30, so that's like both sides, and then you can buy a replacement bulb for £6.30, which is good to know as well, because it means that if one accidentally cracks or something like that, you can replace it. I love these. I wish someone would buy me this one. I think it's really, really sweet. Next up, reusable makeup remover pads. I use these. These are... I've put a certain one in, but... I just buy whichever ones you can find as long as they are actually sustainable. So these ones are bamboo. The ones that I bought, I bought from the marketplace. If you're local to Morpeth, they have them in there. Mine are great. I really like the ones that they have in there. They come with a bag just like this one. I think they have similar things in there. I think I have like three rougher pads which are good for like exfoliating or taking like hard to get makeup off. And then there are like I don't know how many were in mine, but then there's quite a few considerably soft ones. In this one, I think there are light and dark ones, a few rough ones, and the bag. The bag's important because they w wash in the bag. I think this is a good gift because if they already have any, have some, you can always have more. Like, I have them, but if someone bought me more, I wouldn't be mad because I always run out. I always forget to put them in the washing time. So it's always good to have more. And if they don't have them, it might just be something they've never got round to buying. I wanted some for ages and then I didn't buy any because I was just like, oh, I kept forgetting about it. And then Jack bought me some. So I think these are a really nice gift. They're good for the environment. They make you less guilty when you're taking your makeup off and stuff like that. Even if they don't wear makeup a lot, these can be good for like putting creams on, just washing your face. I, I think these are a nice gift. So I'd get this for somebody who is in your life that wears makeup or is just really eco-conscious even like I say even if they're not into makeup they're still good if they're an eco-conscious person the one that I have linked there is a load of different types like different kits you can buy I think the most expensive one on there though is £15.29 and that's like everything so go check it out if you like the look of those ones Next one is actually a gift for a couple or a thruple, whoever. Something like you wanna buy for somebody to do together or you can even buy it for a friend and then do it together. I, I suppose that's probably a better gift to be honest. Like if you bought someone and you're like, this is for us to do together. I really like it, it's another activity thing. It is a pottery date night box for two. Well, it says for two. It can probably be me for more. It can probably be for more than two. I don't think there's anything in there that like, it's only for two, apart from maybe the amount of clay that they give. I'm sure you could make this work for more than two people, but it's a pottery day at night. It also has a cute little addition section where you can add things in there. So there's extras, so you can buy a paint kit, you can buy question cards, you can put a hot drink in there. I just think it's something that's really nice and different that you can get for somebody. I, like I've said, I like activity things and especially if you're doing it and being like, this is for us. I just think it's really sweet and I like this one. I think embroidery and maybe like little paint and kits are really popular on Etsy, but I'd never thought of maybe doing like a clay one. So I think this is really lovely. I think the base price for this is 34 pound. And then the more that you put in it, the more expensive it becomes. Next up, we are actually going back to plants. So again, this is for people who have plants. And then you can choose the different style because I actually have two different planters in here. The first one, it says Japan, but I would argue maybe this is based off like a popular Japan design because it's I think it looks like a bamboo-y type material, but this would fit in so many different decor styles. I think it's beautiful. It's really, really simplistic. You can get different sizes. Yeah, you can, you can get different sizes, which is really, really nice as well, because depending on how big their plants are, they'll need different sizes. And you can also choose whether it has a drainage hole in it, which is excellent. If you're not into plants, that is important. So it is really, really cute. The smallest one, I think, starts at £12.20 and then goes up for how big they are. The next planter is, again, this is going into more minimalist. Obviously, it's black. That's only gonna fit into some certain decors. But I just liked how they were like just a little bit different. These would fit in my place, but I like how they were hanging as well. I've been looking for like a hanging planter for a while to go up in front of our double doors because it, it gets like a lot of light there. 
but you can't just put a plant in front of a door. So there are functions for hanging plants and these planters are very, very pretty. The base price is saying £16.79 and you can get either one or also a pack of two and then you can actually get a customised colour as well, which is pretty cool. Next up, I think this gift would be for someone special and sentimental in your life. So it could be your partner or a platonic partner or a friend. It could be anyone in that genre or I suppose this could be anything because I was just thinking this might be a nice gift for like a new parent. It is this hoodie with a customizable date on the top right. I, this does come in different colors. I would say the only one that I like is this first color, the cream color. That's the only one that I like. This does seem like it has a lot of sales and I'm sure I've seen this design on TikTok with a small business. So if you know that this is like stealing off a small business, please comment theirs down below and I'll like make sure to like pin, a com pin that comment. But yeah, I suppose this could be like a new parent and you could put the baby's like birthday or like adoption day on there. It could be for anyone. But when I saved it, I saved it for your partner, partners, your best friend, like it could be like the day that you met. I just think that's really sweet. Like I thought of this in like a sentimental to you, both of you kind of thing. But I just think it's lovely. I think that colour is beautiful with the black. You can get it in sizes up to 2XL and there's also youth sizing as well, which is quite nice. 2XL isn't great, but I mean, at least there's a 2XL. I would get this oversized. Next is similar to the planters. So I've got two different options and it is a journal. This is for the person who is wanting to be like into the self-care, self-improvement type sector, loves journaling, loves writing things down. This, th these two different journals are like prompt journals and they're by, I see them all the time, what's it called? LSW London. The first one is the 12 week journal for everyday well-being. It's got, like I said, prompts in it. I think the prompts in this one, let me see if I can find a picture. I can't find the prompts, but this one has like a weekly thing and it says inside this one is Monday to Sunday, Sunday journal prompts, goal setting exercises, monthly reviews, inspirational quotes, mindful colouring pages, gratitude exercises, a three month review, a three month gratitude reflection and specifications. This one is £20 and then you can add a pen as well, which is quite cute. Then the other one that I had in there was the six month journal for rediscovering you, which is really, really nice. If you're having somebody who's going through like a rough time and they love to journal, this one might be quite good. I'd quite enjoy this one. This one's a bit more expensive. It's £23.99 and then again, you can add a pen. But this one is described as it having Monday to Friday prompts with weekly review pages, inspirational quotes, colouring pages, motivational exercises, probing questions, coaching techniques, mindfulness techniques, breathing exercises and positive affirmations. So this one seems like it has more techniques in it. I personally wouldn't like that actually. So maybe if you're not wanting stuff with like techniques in it, don't get that one and get the other one. But I do like the fact that this one's six months. To be honest though, this shop has loads of different journals. They have like prompt cards as well. They have loads of different stuff for like mindfulness. So maybe check them out, find one that works for the person that you've got in mind and figure out which is the best one for them. If you don't know, I would say the other one maybe is a good 12 week journal for everyday well-being, it's like a good base one. And then if you know the person better, maybe look at getting a more specific one. Okay, this next one is very, like specific and it's for people who like Marvel but don't like I don't know merch as much so I like these these are three prints from Marvel that are very very pretty so I don't like having merch in the house I just don't like it I find it just a bit too I'm trying to find a like use the word that isn't going to offend anybody because I don't mean this in a negative way it's just kind of what my brain thinks of them I just don't I don't like having very obvious merch in the house, whereas this is so freaking pretty and like, 
I don't know, a bit more like sophisticated and can go with people's decor more. I It is Asgard, Wakanda and the garden where Thanos goes. And I just think they're beautiful. Like I think they're beautiful. These are specific though, cause like you need to know whether they're the person you're buying them for is okay with you buying them home decor. Cause I wouldn't want someone buying these for me. I'd want to make the decision, but I feel like if you see these and you'll have someone in your head that are like, they'd love them. Get them for that person. If you don't know anybody, <laughs> obviously don't. They're a bit more expensive for prints, but they're worth it. And you can get loads of different sizes as well. But I just, I think they're beautiful. Marvel, de Marvel merch and decor can be so like way too colorful and like a bit gaudy. And I just think this is a bit more muted. The colors in it is stunning. The artwork is stunning. I just think they're really pretty. We have four left. This one is a personalized jewelry box. And I just thought it was really, really pretty. And it's actually, when I've looked into it, really functional. This is obviously for people who wear jewelry. I think this could be for anyone who wears jewelry because there's such big, like, sections to it. I do think this could be anybody who wears jewelry because I do think sometimes you can only get certain jewelry boxes for certain types of jewelry. Like if people only wear dainty jewelry, you've got to get a certain type. And then if people only wear like cosplay jewelry, you need bigger types for like bigger things to fit in there. Whereas this has big sections. I really like it. It has a mirror on the inside as well. And you can choose if you want personalization, whether have the personalization on the mirror or on the top. And I just think that's great. I think the wood in it looks beautiful. I personally think that the oak is nicest, but obviously it depends on that person's preference, preference, whether they like dark or light. I love the oak with the personalization on the top. I just think it's really sweet and it looks a bit like pretty, so it can be used as decor as well. The base price for this one starts at £22.80. It's on sale though, so I'm not sure what it usually is, but I don't think that's bad for that. I think that looks like a really like luxury item. Right, I've got another embroidery kit. <laughs> for somebody who doesn't do embroidery, I do recommend it a lot, but I found, I think it's because Etsy recommends embroidery a lot because it is quite popular. This is my favorite one that I found. There was, like I say, Etsy shows a lot. And I don't like a lot of the designs, but I do like this design. It, it, it does look a bit complicated, but in the title, it does say for beginners. I just think it's quite modern. The colors in it are quite muted as well. So it, it probably fits with quite a lot of decor. And it is a kit as well. So you don't need to have anything beforehand, which is just very, very nice. Base price is £12.60. And you can pick which design you want as well, which is very, very nice. And you can pick whether you want to buy a hoop. So if somebody is already doing embroidery, you can probably still get this and just not include the hoop. Right, next one. I am normally not a fan of buying people personalized stuff. Like I've mentioned, I don't really like it anyway, but I also don't like buying it for other people because I know I don't like it. And I'm also not a fan of buying people candles because people, have very specific tastes in candles and you could buy one that you think is absolutely incredible but then somebody else thinks is absolutely vile. But I do quite like this one. I think it's quite sweet. It doesn't look that personalized either. Like it's not like a massive font with people's names on. I think if you look at it from far away, it would just look like a fern, which is really pretty. And then the, the, text going down the side of the fern is very subtle as well. I just really like the design of it. I think as well, this is Kindred Fires and I think I have one of their candles. My sibling bought me, oh, it's um, actually, I'm not sure because it's a middle finger finger, finger finger. It's a middle finger candle. And I think I have them because they came with matches and it had this font on it. So, they are nice candles, I have one. I think you can add on, yeah, you can add on matches bath salts as well. It's a bit odd for a can. Ah, I suppose not. That is quite sweet. It looks like it's expensive. The base price is 28 pound, but you can buy different scents as well, which is nice. It's, it's kind of how well you know that person. There are some in there that you're gonna know whether people like it. Like there's Festive Spice, 
I think we all know what that's gonna smell like, so if you know that person likes Festa Spice, it's probably gonna be a safe bet. Last one is a bit of an out, out there one. I would never say buy someone socks, but these socks are freaking adorable. I absolutely love them. I would say this is for somebody who is queer. These socks look queer. And I know that's stereotyping, but I think other queer people will agree with me, especially, I feel like they're very like NB vibes. I freaking love them. I think they're absolutely adorable. The colors you can get on them are beautiful. They're beautiful. I just love them. They are expensive. They're £8.50 for one pair of socks, but they just look like luxury pairs of socks and I think they're freaking adorable. I love them. I absolutely love them. So that is it. That is all of the recommendations that I have. If you, like I say, if you have ones that you like, please leave them down below. If you think you would like the, any of the ones that I've said that I like, please comment as well because it might give me more credibility. If people see that everybody loves those socks or if everybody loves that candle, they're going to be like, okay, the person that I'm thinking of probably is going to love it as well. So please comment and let me know. Please like it if you did enjoy it. Please subscribe if you are new. I am trying to hit my goal of 2,500 subscribers by the end of the year. It's not looking good, but I'd like to get as close as we can. Uh, it would just mean a lot. So please subscribe if you are new. But even if you don't do any of that, Thank you so much for watching till the end and I shall hopefully see you in another video. Oh, make sure, like, all of the links for everything should be down below. So if you can't find anything, let me know. Okay, right. I shall see you in another video. Bye.